Former Speaker Larry Householder has been indicted after allegedly funneling $61 million in dark money from First Energy to candidates who would vote yes on a billion-dollar bailout. Locally, two state representatives have connections with Householder and one of the other men arrested, Jeffrey Longstreth. The connections come through the candidates' campaigns. Don Jones represents the 95th District. His campaign received more than $20,000 from the Friends of Larry Householder and $1,500 from a First Energy Political Action Committee. I was not influenced by any of that money in any way. Uh, you know, I did vote for House Bill 6, which is at the center of attention here. But I voted for House Bill 6 because it was a good piece of legislation. Uh, it's helped a lot of people in, 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 in my district. I don't know where that money came from. I honestly cannot tell you where that money came from. I mean, and that's the thing that I think we need to keep in mind. You know, uh, Speaker Householder had other sources of, of revenue besides First Energy. Uh, and, you know, and there again, I, I mean, I had no idea where that money came from. First Energy is the company alleged to be involved in the bribery scheme. Jones's campaign also paid out more than $32,000 to JPL and Associates. That's a political consulting group run by Jeffrey Longstreth. Jones told me that JPL and Associates was contracted to do his campaign mailings, and if he knew what was going on, he would have worked with someone else. Longstreth is an aide to Householder and is alleged to have accepted more than $5 million in bribes from First Energy. On the other hand, Brett Hillier represents Ohio's 98th district. That includes all of Tuscarawas County and part of Holmes County. Hillier's campaign received more than $17,000 from the Friends of Larry Householder and more than $16,000 from two First Energy political action committees. The campaign also paid out more than $45,000 to Longstress Consulting Firm. All of these numbers are according to the Ohio Secretary of State, and Hillier's campaign did not return a call for comment. House Democrat from Bel Air, Jack Sarah, who voted to make Householder Speaker of the House, reacting to Thursday's proceedings. Needless to say, I'm... I'm disappointed and, and, and uh, upset about it. It's not good for the legislature, certainly, and, and it's not good for any effort to try to uh, restore confidence in people that their government is uh, fair. Sarah also telling me that he already signed legislation to repeal House Bill 6, which bailed out First Energy. Reporting for News 9, I'm Gage Golding.